We're in Windows 10 and I'm going to show you how to change your IP address. So we want to go to the control panel. If you can't find that, just right click on your start button and you can choose uh, pick control panel from the list. All right, so let's go ahead and click on network and sharing center. And from here, we'll click on change adapter settings. Now we see we have our ethernet adapter. We can right click on that and choose properties. And in the properties, we'll see that uh, we have IP version 4. Double click on that and you can see it's set to automatic. Now before we change this to a static IP address, we don't want to make a mistake here. We don't want to accidentally assign an IP address somebody else's has. And we also want to, want to know what is the subnet that we're currently using. Otherwise, you won't be able to communicate with anybody. So we want to go to um, the start button, right click, and choose a command prompt. Now once you're in the command prompt, type IP C-O-N-F-I-G. Hit enter. And we can see that my subnet is 192.168.213 and my host IP address is 138. So if I'm going to set a static IP address, I'm going to need to be on those first three numbers. So 192.168. I believe it was 213. Let's just double check. Yep. And dot 138 is my IP address, but uh, I want to set a static address. I don't want it to be in the DHCP scope area. I'm going to be higher or lower than this general area. Uh, and then I also want to set my subnet mask to be the same as this. Otherwise, I'll be in a different network. If your subnet mask is different than 3255.0, then you, it'll separate your network from your host differently. So let's say it's 255.255.0.0. Then all that matters is the first two numbers. The third one can be, third and fourth set of numbers can be anything that you want that's not currently in use. So let's just pretend that uh, yours is gonna be exactly as you see here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in the 2553 times dot zero, which it does automatically. And we'll put a 192.168.213.1, which I believe was our, oh, dot two is our gateway. Okay, so we'll change that to dot two. Now, if we do an IP config slash all, it'll tell us our DNS server as well, which we need to put in there. So our DNS server is also 192.168.213.2. So let's go ahead and put that in. All right, now, before we click apply, we need to use an IP address that nobody else is using. So let's go ahead and type the word ping and type 192.168.213 and we'll just say .200. So if I don't get a reply, it most likely means no one's using it, but it doesn't mean that for sure because if their firewall's turned on, it will block any ping requests anyway. But there's a way around that. So you can type ARP space minus A. Hit enter. So in, if uh, I ping somebody and it doesn't get a reply, it can't hide from an ARP request, which tells us the hardware to IP address link. So if I see 192.168.213.200 in this list, that means I really am communicating with another device and its firewall is just turned on. In this case, I don't see .200, so it's perfectly safe to use. So I'll just go ahead and use 200. And everything else is uh, correct, so we'll just go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and click OK, and now we're on a new static IP address.